Hey Simlings, it's Delicacy here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 33, I believe. Uh, I know I've stuffed up the numbering of these episodes quite a bit, so I might be a little off, but I should really go back and fix them, shouldn't I? But that's gonna take so long. I wish one of you guys could do that for me. I really do. But anyway, we are back in The Sims 4 Barbie, and I am really keen to play this part because Ruby and Marco had a baby off camera. So we are going to go see the baby and its name for the first time. I did do a renovation of their apartment. I will post uh, the apartment renovation video around the same time as this one. So be sure to check that out if you wanna see my thoughts behind it. Um, but yeah, I didn't look at the baby's name. So, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'll show you the apartment first. So I wanted this apartment to be very youthful looking. So uh, I might actually pause it so we don't miss any gameplay, but yeah, I just wanted it to look like it was a young girl's first apartment. And because Ruby was not given her trust fund, her full trust fund, um, due to, you know, she got with the butler, for goodness sake. And her parents did not approve of that. They're engaged. They have a baby. And oh my gosh, it was her butler. <laughs> so, and being with the butler when she was a teen, uh, Barbie and Ken were definitely not happy about that. They thought that was very unprofessional of Marco. So... You know, she didn't have a whole heap of money, but she did get $10,000, which for most of us, that is like, oh my gosh, so much money. Like if my family gave me $10,000, I would be like, I'd be set, you know, I'd be so happy, but hey, you know what? Not everyone's families have moolah like the Barbie fam. So this is it. Anyway, so she's got a purple wall. I wanted it to be girly, young, youthful, but at the same time have a little bit of glam. So... Um, they've got a little toddler seat for the baby. The kitchen has just been left as it was. We'll redo the kitchen once we have some more money. But this is a nice lounge room, um, lots of mirrors, which is where the glam comes in. I love these cushions with uh, the geometric patterns, which kind of match the clock over there. Uh, we'll go into Barbie and Marco's room first, which is over here. And I just had a little bit of fun with the mirrors. Um, to make a custom bed frame because you know Ruby loves the spotlight and it's a shame there's those pictures in the corner of them but hey I try and ignore those um, but yeah this is the bedroom of course it's very plain at the moment we didn't have a whole heap of money to spend um, and she does have a dresser because she needed that and around here as time goes on we're either going to make that into a little ensuite or study or maybe both we can probably fit both in there so at the moment they don't have a computer, which is a little bit of an issue, <laughs> but hopefully that won't take too long. Over here, if we go through this room, this is the bathroom and okay, Ruby, like this is definitely not my taste. Like I would never put blue aqua tiles in my bathroom, but I felt like Ruby would. Like this is the first time she hasn't had an interior designer or her family to do something for her. So she's having fun. She wanted a colorful bathroom and I mean, it's cute. It's got the blue, um, two modern basins. I used to move objects on sheet to put in that uh, little middle table. And I love all of these plumbing devices around the less expensive apartments that break. It just makes the gameplay so realistic. And then if we go through here, open wide, this is the toddler's room. So I kind of made it a little bit girly, um, but at the same time, it could be a guy's room. Like it can be either. It, you know what? It doesn't even really have a gender, this room. Um, so yeah, whether the baby's boy or girl, I'm pretty sure it's a boy though. Um, yeah, it's just nice. I use lots of wall decals because we didn't have a whole heap of money, but this is the baby here. Oh my gosh, look, Maku's holding it. It, I think it's a him. Oh my God, Ernesto, Ernesto. It kind I don't want to offend anyone, but to me, in to me, with my uh, not very well educated Australian brain, I, I, uh, it sounds Italian to me. Ernesto, is that Italian? Because if it is, it matches Marco perfectly. Oh my gosh, so cute, Mama. Ernesto. Oh, we should take some pictures. I wonder if Erne oh. Ernesto is gonna look like Marco. I'm so happy with that name, though. I don't think we need to change it. 
Um, Still. so that's really cute. And Marker uh, and Diamonds did have little makeovers in the last part. We changed her hair back to blonde because she's naturally a blonde. So I wanted the baby to get the blonde oh, yes. box. And it looks like this Nada. is her neighbor. Let's tell a little bit of a dramatic story to Raj because Diamonds is dramatic. That is that is true. You know, this is a really cute little family. Like, I love their family. I've never really liked Ruby, but I, I do like her. Um, in the comments below, do let me know who your favorite character is of this Let's Play. And instead of everyone just commenting heaps of the names, it's easier if you go and thumbs up someone else's comment who has said who they like. So if you see someone say Marco, if he's your favorite, thumbs up their comment and it'll push them all up to the top and we'll see, we'll see who's the favorite in the Let's Play. Oh, Marco, he's so dreamy. He's so dreamy. Anyway, uh, he is getting into the mixologist career, which is great. Um, although he's got level 10 comedy. So we were thinking like, should he be in the entertainment career? But being a butler, I just thought, you know what? Mixology kind of works for him. I don't know. Anyway, let's get him to go over here and give uh, give Ruby a little bit of a flirt. You know, these guys are just <laughs> cool, cool. so sweet. <laughs> They're a nice couple. And I think, you know, Ruby's going to definitely mature a lot. And they are engaged, so we do have to think about the wedding. So please comment any wedding ideas. Um... Yeah, or if the they should alert. Because they're at no, I think yes. Ruby would love the biggest wedding ever. Except they have no money to do a wedding. Let's hope they have work 20, 21 hours until work. Okay, grief. Uh, he needs to press. Oh, you guys. You guys. Uh, let's get him to prepare some more food. Um, let's get him to cook mac and cheese family size because he needs to prepare that. Uh, for today's work and oh we do need a computer for ruby so maybe we'll go to the library um for her to do some work how is she feeling though and it is eight o'clock at night which is a little bit of an issue let's get her to use the toilet um does she have work tomorrow in the morning mm, okay okay uh, I really wanted her to be able to do some work tonight, but you know what? I don't think there's enough time for her to get enough sleep as well. So maybe we won't go to the library just yet. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this. This is OTP right now, even though it was very scandalous. I like them together. Uh, did you finish cooking? Yo, did you, you didn't do what I told you to, did you? You're bad. You're naughty. Make your wifey some beautiful fish tacos, Marco. Mark You're soon to be wifey, rather. Oh, he just put it on the ground. Ugh. For a butler, he's for an ex-butler. He's very messy, isn't he? Oh my gosh, I thought in the reflection then that was people talking to Diamond. And I was like, what? Since when are there other Sims in the house? <laughs> yeah, I wish their legs would just be a little bit more together. I know, I'm so like, what's the word? I'm so prudent. I don't know. I'm like, put your legs together. It's a sim, Deli. Get over it. Okay, I will. Um, let's get rid of this. Why? 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 Please, Marco. Just do what you're meant to do. For your lady who just pushed out a baby for you, for goodness sakes. Now, how is our little bubble going? I think we need to give uh, him a little bit of attention. Let's talk to you. Let's bounce you. Give you a little bit of a bouncy bouncy. Make silly face. And Ruby's already got level one parenting skills. So that's nice. Aww. I wish we had prams. That would have been really nice with the toddlers. And you know what? Maybe we will age up Ernesto in this part and just get him into toddlerhood. Because I do want to see what he looks like. And... Aww. Oh, maybe we should keep him as a baby. I don't know. No, I want him as a toddler. I kind of skipped the baby stage now. Oh, Marco, he's already gone to bed? Oh, that's so sad. Wait, he's asleep on the couch. Oh, in his love heart. His love heart underwear. Sleep. It's too noisy for Marco to sleep right now. Oh, God. What are the neighbors doing? We better go over here. Knock politely. 
I would be annoyed. Oh, 10 o'clock at night. I wouldn't be that annoyed. At midnight, I'd be annoyed. He's pretty frustrated. Marco's polite though. Hello, which neighbor is this? If this is Raj, who we just spoke to, hashtag rude Raj, hashtag rude. Oh my gosh, is he, look, they, they can't even hear us knocking on the door. We better pound it. Yeah, he's getting real sassy now. Sassy in his love heart, sassy pants. Oh, come on. They better, oh my gosh, they're ignoring us. How many times are we gonna have to do this before someone comes to the door? Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, buddy. It is Raj. Come on. He's like, what? I'm just listening to my clarinet. <laughs> that is not clarinet. Complain angrily about the noise. Is that diamond? I mean, Ruby. She's just waiting. Oh, no. No. The baby. The baby. Oh, you gotta change that dirty diaper. And you know what? Let's do some breastfeeding as well. Um, keep it all natural. I'm so glad there's breastfeeding. Okay, Marco, <laughs> he's already outside. They kind of, these guys look like they could be friends, I think. Okay, I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. Well, there you go, that was lovely. Can we go see your place? Nah. Move in household from gallery, what? Oh, I think it's because I have cheats on. All right, let's give our lovely, lovely, lovely fiance a little bit of a hug before bed. You know what? I reckon she's gonna beat us to the sack. Oh no, she's not. And let's have a woohoo. Oh, uh -huh. Let's have a woohoo, <laughs> and then we can. Oh, oh I just really wanted to try for another baby just then, but let's let's oh, not get too yeah, excited. <laughs> okay, into that bed. It's kind of weird woohooing when there's a mirror <laughs> as the bed. I mean, I guess they're always under the covers. You'd hope that they didn't fart under the covers before they woohoo, because that would be so stanky. Oh, I really love these bed feet. They're like little triangles. Learn something new every day. And I like how the love hearts match the pink wall. Beautiful. Okay, you guys done? You guys good? Okay, no, let's just speed this up because I, I just think, you know what, it's time for sleep time. Oh, oh, Ruby, you're bald again. Why are you bald? I don't understand. Huh. I don't understand why she's bald. I have all the CC in the game. How strange. Oh, well, I'll have to fix that for you guys. <gasps> oh! Oh God, I thought the baby was crying, but it's just like wiggling around like a little, like a little grub. Ah! <laughs> okay, don't worry, we got you, we got you. Okay, this is Marco's turn. Let's bottle feed you since you don't have any um, breast milk in those pecs of yours. I mean, who knows, he could, cause they're pretty firm. <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate, wasn't it? When is Deli not a little bit cheeky though? Okay. Oh my god, he's so attractive. Oh, he's cuter than the baby. How often is a dad cuter than the baby? Okay. Okay. Are you happy now, little little one? Little one Nesto? That's probably the name of Marco's father. Okay, Ruby's hair's definitely gonna frustrate me. Oh, it's 7 a.m., definitely gotta get up. Uh, let's just change your, let's go here, change your appearance, and then she should apply some makeup for work. Um, maybe some silver, pink and pink lips? Satin coral lips. I wouldn't go that. Although she usually does love red lips, doesn't she? This is where she does her red lips, oh. <laughs> oh, her red lipstick every day. <laughs> okay, hey, what's going on that. here, girl? Why why were you looking a little... Ah. Okay, we had that hair. Oh, she's got... She's just got face game mm -hmm. hair at the moment? You know what? Let's take it back to her red locks and this pink dress doesn't go with them, unfortunately. Uh, let's just go with a basic color. Red and white. Let's just go with an old black dress. That's nice. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, apply makeup. Let's go for the silver 
the satin red lips I wanted I didn't want satin lips I want just like you know what let's just do it we don't have time for this oh she would so do this every day very nice doing a little bit of a wing there oh and pulling out a fruit toast okay did you even change your makeup then oh. Is it because she's in her pajamas? Why? You don't. You didn't do any makeup. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Why not? Let's just change her outfit to every day in case it's just because she's in her pajamas. I don't think so, though. At least I didn't think so. All right, you go do that, marker. Oh, I should have put that in the fridge. Damn it! I waste so much food. I'll waste a lot of, you know what, screw it. Okay, so let's serve breakfast. He needs to just keep cooking. He gotta keep cooking because he gotta support his family, so yes. Uh, yep, so he's only 25% done. This is actually a really hard career to get, to go well with. Um, ah. Ruby's career, uh, let's just, we'll send her to work, I think. Ah, oh, the baby. We should still have more maternity leave as well. Change daddy diaper. Let's go, girl. Okay, there we go. It'll be good when the nanny comes. That's a good little baby. Can talk to the baby. And let's try this one more time, because she's... Oh, no. I was going to say, because she's in a good mood, but she's not. Mark her. <laughs> Please control yourself. Um, let's just eat whatever's in the fridge. Okay, I have fish tacos for breakfast. I would not like to have fish tacos for breakfast. They would not make me keen at all. Work in nine minutes. Oh, the makeup didn't work. Let me double check. That is definitely not red satin oh, lips. That is no makeup at all. Okay. Well, I guess when you have a baby, it's harder to get things done, so... Pair food, mixed drinks, 50% done. Okay, let's just keep baking. Oh, not baking. Let's just keep cooking. Let's cook some inspired fruit salad. And let's cook some... I think he has to make four meals a day. Uh, let's do this. Yes. Yes. Okay, all good. And I think um, whilst they get ready to go to work, we might go check out uh, Barbie's household, I think, because I love going to that house. I feel like an episode without Barbie just feels wrong. <laughs> so I'll just fast forward this up and get them to work and the nanny here. Ruby, shouldn't she be at work right now? Oh, oh girl. Oh, I really wanted to quickly use the toilet, but she has to go to work. Damn it. Oh, well. It'll be fine. And we'll get her to work hard, I think, because she needs to work hard. Okay, well, she's off. She's off to work. Marco's completed his food and drinks for the day uh, in terms of prep. And they will always have so much good food in the fridge, which I love. Let's go to Barbie's household. Okay, so here we are at the new Barbie house. And it still feels really new to me. Oh, no, Pearl. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? I could totally see Pearl saying that. <sighs> so people like you look around. I feel like that that's probably a good, a good uh, response to that. But look at this beautiful house. It's so over the top. It's so Barbie. I think this is my favorite Barbie build. I think it is. But anyway, how is the fam going? Um, so that was Ken who gave that advice, so that's really nice. And they're just gonna have a little bit of time together, are they? Uh, Pearl, high school, Cecil, she's still on vacation. We need to get her to use the toilet and do a little bit of homework, methinks. Um, so let's go up to her room. Oh gosh, I've forgotten where her room is. I think it's here, yep. Yep, 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 yep. And I don't think they've actually claimed properly their beds. I don't know if I did that properly in the last part. Um, so that's right, that's her room. And I just want to quickly purchase some more homework books because I can never find them. <laughs> and I just find myself always buying them. It's so like me because in real life, I used to always um, lose stuff. Like I'd lose my school jumpers and yeah, I was, I was that. I was that kid. 
Yeah. yeah. I was actually talking to my boyfriend the other day and he was a kid who, I don't know if you guys have this in other countries, but in Australia you have free dress days or most schools do. And free dress days, <laughs> um, you just wear whatever you want. You don't have to go to school in a uniform. And my boyfriend, Pat, was telling me that he forgot there was free dress day on more than one occasion. So he was the kid that still went to school in uniform. And I just thought that was so funny. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we'll claim that bed. Look at these two little... Hey, you guys are meant to be at school. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I love Flint Roberts. He's so awesome. A lot of you guys were saying, oh, look at them with their little empty OJ glasses. Oh, bless. In Onyx's room, playing on Onyx's computer. Those boys are so naughty. Oh, man. They they need to get up. They need to get their mischief skill up um, because they would totally be two peas in a pot, these twins. All right. Bye, kids. Even though they're really different, I think they would get along. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Now, Onyx is technically on vacation as well. So I would like him to do his homework. And a lot of you guys said that you thought his... Oh, that's cute. Um, that you thought his hair was a little bit out of character. Now... Oh, did Pearl take both of those homework books? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put that there for Onyx. Um, and you know what? I think he's such a quiet guy, but... During high school, he's begun to come out of his shell. And I feel like one way he feels like he could experiment and show a little bit of personality is dyeing his hair. Because it doesn't mean he has to actively really do anything. He just dyes it in his own personal time. So I felt that, that I felt like that kind of made sense. Okay, so he's doing his homework there. Where is Pearl doing her homework? Oh, is Bobby helping her? Can you help her with her homework? Hug lovingly. Wait, is she already well. helping? Oh, good, she is. Oh, Bobby, you're such a good mommy. Such a good mommy. Awesome. Now, let's just also make sure that Bobby and Ken's bed is claimed. And we could woohoo for baby number 10. We should probably do that, actually. Now, in terms of Pearl, I do want her to meet someone who she can fall in love with. And as we have discussed previously, Pearl is gay. She is a lesbian and she has not yet discovered um, a relationship. So I'm really excited to explore her a little bit more. Okay, set the table with, let's maybe get Pearl to do a fancy setting. I feel like she would um, just have fun folding napkins and stuff and making things look pretty sometimes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. Look how awesome like that looks. It fits the table perfectly. I love it. And Flint, you guys finished school so early because you guys went so late. You guys can please do your homework right away. Uh, and Pearl, I reckon we should take you and Onyx into town. Like, you've done your homework, uh -huh. you guys are doing really well. Oh, yeah. So let's go check out the town and see if we can find some new friends. Um, do we want to go to the park or the library or something? I feel like those places are so blah, you know? So blah. The reception tent. Oh, memories. Hmm. I don't feel like they're the nightclub kind of people. Maybe we'll go to the city. I think the city suits them. Go to a hangout spot in there. Maybe just the arts quarter. Uh, we'll just go to the gallery. Maybe Pearl wanted to check it out and Onyx was like, oh, okay, I'll come with you. Okay, cool. Uh, and Onyx, in terms of a relationship for him, I don't think he's really been interested in finding anyone to love at this stage of the game. Uh, who knows? I don't know if he ever will be that propelled to find someone to love or he'll ever have those feelings to be honest but pearl definitely yes selfie oh my god onyx at least dress yourself appropriately if you're going to the city like please <laughs> okay let's just have some sibling um time together hugs debate game strategy because he's like so it's gaming and she'd probably always like to help help him out with talking about his interests what's going over here 
Hey, let's see. We've got Sophia over here. Let's watch the performance. Watch performance. Maybe give her a tip. What? Okay. Oh, we're gonna tip her and she won't even be playing anything. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Onyx should find a computer nearby. Oh wow, these guys are so shy. They just did not say anything. Oh, Maybe we'll get Pearl to introduce Samoa. herself. Um, see if these two <laughs> get along. Bag. Sophia <laughs> looks pretty cool. New Loy, so <laughs> he like he's so socially awkward. <laughs> Onyx, <laughs> that he. <laughs> Uh oh, that he like just tipped when she wasn't playing. He's like, do I have to wait till the end to tip? <laughs> and of course, he's being socially a little bit withdrawn as well, just being on his phone while Pearl's the one who's chatting. Um, scrap painting? Maybe. Maybe he could do a little bit of painting whilst his sister makes a new friend. Uh, and she's really hungry too. Let's have a deep conversation. I just want to get even just a friend for her. Uh, funny. Joke about monkeys. Oh, oh. Funny story. Hey, why are you looking so closely at us? We ain't interested. <laughs> Onyx, let's maybe... Why? Oh, he's in a tent. Oh, he's tense because he's, he's in public. So he just goes on his phone all the time. That's so realistic, you know? If I'm, like, feeling like I don't really want to speak in public or meet people in public I'll just go on my phone it's the perfect distraction maybe show off app with a heartfelt compliment these guys can be like new friends I love it oh she's part of the paragon that's right discuss interest funny tell a joke about monkeys show off outfit let's just oh he found one plumbing upgrade Okay, that's all right. Flick nose? What does flick nose mean? I don't understand that. Does that mean she flicks her nose? Oh my gosh, they look kind of the same. They have the same nose. Oh, and she's got little freckles. That's so cute. That's so cute. You know what? Pearl and Onyx are due to age up soon. I've totally lost track of who's ready to age up and who isn't, to be honest. Oh, monkey around a little bit. Yeah. Is that flick news? I don't know, but I feel like these guys are these guys are fun. Mm. Ask about day. Show off outfit. Do you like my new yellow overalls? <laughs> Tell a knock knock joke. And they're probably getting really hungry now. Oh, meanwhile, Onyx is still on his phone taking pictures of graffiti or something. <gasps> Oh, he should continue this mural. Onyx should become a little bit, a little bit naughty. Or maybe you're allowed to work on this mural. Oh my gosh, Onyx. He's becoming cool and rebellious. Oh God, what? don't spray it in your face. He's still super awkward though. <laughs> oh, I love his outfit. He got really cool recently. Hey, go back to your friends. Are you, are you guys friends yet? Did she leave? Oh, I think she's gone. Well, they can catch up another time. Oh, and the food stores are closed. I was, why would the food stores be closed at 6 p.m.? This is like prime time for business. Excuse me. Okay, let's just do this mural together. Looks like it's gonna take a little while. Yes, Pearl's like doing it all perfectly, figuring it out and, oh, look who it is. Isn't this? Oh, Cassie Lee. Sorry, I thought it was like a... It looked like one of my Sims from my original Sims 4 LP, actually. Wow, she just ran through the statue. She did not care. That's so rude. Okay, guys, let's get to work. Ooh, this is really cool. I want you guys to hurry up and finish it because I really want to see the outcome. And maybe actually, Pearl, do you want to send a text? And chat on the phone a little bit? I feel like Pearl would so not do this. It must be a free community project and she would hate getting dirty. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get ahead and make those phone calls to a new friend. That's cute. Okay, she's probably almost dying of hunger. Oh no, she's okay. 
I can't. Oh, yay, the fruit stores are open. Excellent. Okay, let's buy produce. Um, order a drink. We want the foods. Ugh. Why can't we get food? We want that bread in the winter. I want that croissant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, maybe they need to go home for food. Is it Pearl still on the phone? Oh no, she's looking at this painting. Can we keep it? She should purchase it and put it in her room. Love it. All right, I don't think he's gonna finish this mural, but it's cool. It's pretty cool. I like that he did that. Anyway, let's go home and put that painting up on the wall. And I'm pretty sure we actually have some extra paintings in Bobby's inventory. Okay, back at the dream house. The kids going through those huge front gates to their mansion. I mean, imagine coming home to this. Imagine if you lived here, you'd be that one kid at school who was like famous for being Barbie's son or daughter. <laughs> and everyone would be like, oh my God, did you get to go to the house? It's amazing. Oh, uh, where's Pearl's room? Up here to the left pop up those walls. Um, school is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Society requires school for success. I feel like that would be Ken's response. And I can imagine Onyx really not liking school. Um, okay, Pearl, she would remove, I think she would, cause she likes everything to be really simple. She would remove these from her walls and put in her latest purchase that she's just decided she really likes. There. <laughs> She just likes the simplicity and minimalistic aesthetic of that painting piece. Excellent. And Bobby. Okay, yeah, we do have quite a few pictures to put up. But anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Um, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon.